Investment companies are a bit like your smart, but somewhat risky friend who claims they can make money faster for you, if you just trust them with your cash. They're the finance world's multi-tool, performing a variety of financial services that revolve around investing and, to a lesser degree, trading for both individuals and institutions. Where they put their focus. Most of these companies dig deep into investing. They've got their paws in everything, stocks, bonds, real estate, and sometimes exotic stuff like art or wine. The goal is to plant money like seeds in a range of fertile soils, hoping one day they'll blossom into a more bountiful cash crop. This method is all about playing the long game, growing your financial forest steadily over time. Now, let's talk trading. Yeah, they do trade, but it's not the bread and butter for most. When we talk trading, it's all about the hustle, the rapid buying and selling of securities, trying to time the market like you're catching flies, fast and calculated. It's high energy, high stress, and can be high reward, but it's also high risk. It's not for the weak of heart or for your retirement savings. Here's how they make their dough fees, good old fashioned fees. They'll take a slice of the pie for managing your investments, typically either a flat fee or a percentage of the assets they're dealing with. For trading, they'll usually take a commission on each transaction. Why they prefer investing over trading. Think steady versus sketchy. Investing is about building wealth methodically, while trading is more about quick hits. Investment companies are in the business of growing funds over the long haul, so they can manage more money and pull in more fees. And let's be real, while the idea of making a quick buck is enticing, the thrill fades when you face the prospect of losing your shirt. Bottom line, while investment firms do both trading and investing, they mainly focus on investing for the growth and long-term benefit of their clients and themselves. Sure, some funds are set up to trade extensively and aggressively, but even then, those trading strategies are often part of a broader investment roadmap. Living in Portland, Oregon, surrounded by innovators and startups, I get to see plenty of people putting these investment strategies to work. Whether it's through local firms or the broader market, the underlying philosophy remains. Investments are the seeds of wealth and trading? Well, that's the occasional high-stakes poker game some are willing to play. Remember, whether you trust Portland's local investment firms or go for the big names on Wall Street, the game doesn't change. Just make sure you're playing it right, and maybe one day, you'll be the one sitting pretty with a financial forest that's the envy of the neighborhood.